Okay, so this morning I woke up to a pretty cold house. Check the furnace and it was a there was no pilot light. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to replace your thermocouple. It's a part that's not expensive to fix and it's very easy to fix. But if you have a professional come out, it's gonna run you CERTA, depending on where you live and what they charge. 150 bucks for them to replace a $10 part. That is the most common failure in a furnace because it's what maintains the pilot light. So if you have a natural gas furnace and you don't have a pilot light, don't call somebody out. Fix it yourself if you can. It'll save you a lot of money. I did my best to give you the best quality that I could give. Now keep in mind I'm in a basement which is not well lit and I'm having to hold and try and use the flashlight while trying to do whatever what I'm doing. Uh, and there's not going to be very much audio to it but you will definitely have a very good understanding about what you need to do to replace your thermocouple. Now there's two things you're going to need. You're going to need a needle nose pliers and a campfire lighter. That works. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is turn off the gas to the furnace. Should be within six feet of it. Just make sure it's off. Turn your furnace electric off. Pardon the cobwebs. Now turn the valve off that is built into the furnace. Turn it to where it says pilot. Now locate the thermocouple. It's right next to the line where the pilot light is. And as you see, mine just spins and it just requires two fingers. And here's where the needle nose pliers come in. You may need to start it a little bit. But don't use a lot of force. Just spins and comes out. Now locate where the thermocouple hooks up to the gas valve. And I'm just tucking these like out of the way for now. And that's this part right here. Just take your needle nose pliers to get it started. Loosen it up. Keep loosening and it'll come out. Now here's the old one and the new one. The part I'm showing you here, that is a part of the furnace and does not come with the thermocouple. So do not, do not throw that away. Throw this piece away that comes with the thermocouple and throw that piece away as we won't be needing it as it's part of the piece that is a part of the furnace. Now I'm going to show you this twice, but all it does is it just slides right on the new thermocouple and clicks into place. Now there'll be a little bit of wiggle, as you see here. Don't worry about that. That's normal. Just slide it off. Now slide it back on and it'll like click into place when it's properly attached. Now, as I said, that piece that I'm sliding on is a part of the furnace and not part of the old thermocouple. So do not throw that little piece away. And now back to the basement where the furnace is. Oh, this piece is the part that goes into the pilot valve. So that little piece that's running around is nothing. Now we're going to put this back in. Slide it right in with your two fingers. Just screw it right in. It's not hard. It's very easy. Just make sure it's finger tight. That's all it needs. Now here's the other part. Now I always recommend starting this by hand so that you're sure that you're not going to get the threads uh, cross-threaded. 
and it can be a little difficult as you see I'm trying multiple times to make sure I'm getting it right but don't be afraid but just like I say if it takes you multiple tries it's fine it took me multiple tries before I was sure that I got it in there properly once I was sure I got it in there properly it was straight in see pull it back out try it one more time once I get it in once I get it started then I'll take the needle nose pliers eventually and tighten it up so it's tight into the the pilot light valve that's where the pilot light and the thermocouple connect to now I'm just going to take the extra thermocouple wiring and just wrap it up and make sure that it's just out of the way it's fine to have extra what you don't want to run into is that you don't have enough now I'm going to turn the gas back on to the to the furnace and turn it on now what I'm doing is I turn that top knob back to pilot or on and press down press down on that take your camping light and ignite the gas as it comes out of the pilot light there you pr need to press and hold this for about a minute once you've done that and it's you lift up on it and the pilot stays on turn it back to on now your furnace may look a little different than mine but it's all basically going to be about the same I hope this helped you and I hopefully saved you a lot of money. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.